Welcome to the Retro Sega Wonder Show. Today we're going to play some Wani Wani World, an odd game from Japan, but a fun game, sort of an arcade game of a sort. Uh, rather than try to explain it, you'll see how it's played. A rather interesting looking island. Now you have to start off really quick, right out of the gate. Nope. I was trying to be strategic about it. Obviously that wasn't strategic enough. Uh, you can't hammer the blocks on the ground floor here. You have to be up on one of these platforms to be able to hammer the blocks. And you can see that this is the basic way you play the game. Sort of like a, a cross between maybe Load Runner and Burger Time, something like that. Ah, to the next stage! The red robots are really fast and aggressive. The green robots tend to just wander around. And the yellow robots are just a little nuts. So we picked up a slot machine thing and we got some goodies. Bonus points, come here bonus points. Oh sweet, delicious bonus points. When you knock a hole in the blocks, you can drop through it yourself like that if you want to, to try to, you know, get to the next level more quickly. Come on, people. Robots, you're not people. There we go. And also, if you're careful about how you do it, if there are other robots nearby, when you knock a robot down to the floor below, when uh, when their stars go bouncing around the, the stage like that, you can uh, take out the other robots with them. On to the next stage. Aside from the fact that you really have to get going quickly, right out of the gate when you start playing one of these levels, I would say it's a fairly fun and fairly relaxing game. And it really does have that sort of load runner burger time feel like I mentioned before. Here, robots! I have something special to give you, if you would be so kind. Now if this robot, no, I thought maybe we would be able to take out the other green robots if they were going to go beneath where we were. If the upper platform is close enough, or if the platform you're on is close enough, to the platform below you, then the stars can bounce up and take care of any robots that are on the same platform as you. So let's see, what do we have here? Teleporters? Are those? Well, we gotta, we gotta get off of this. We gotta get off of this uh, bottom floor where you can't smack the blocks. Get down here rather quickly to collect the delicious egg. Beautiful! And if you do get combos like that, you get extra goodies. And we even have a power-up. A teleporter of magic! I did not mean to teleport magically that time! Whoa! We just ran out of our thingy, okay. And it looks like when you take out the orange blocks, it also takes out the block next to it. Delicious apples! At least that's what they try to tell us. I mean, some people like that kind of stuff. 
Now, I think this teleporter probably goes... Well, I guess it goes right here. And the moving platform. I wonder if we can get this other block. There we go. Just like that. And then when you get down to the last robot, of course, the remaining robot goes nuts. Quickly now, let's get back here. And that should do it. All right, so we have a red robot on either side, which means we are essentially stuck because you can't smack them directly with the hammer. That's the only sort of extra tricky thing about this game, is you really have to make a direct beeline to the next level up when you start a level. So there's a red one in the middle we have to deal with, and here's a spring! I guess we could just sit here. This should take care of the Mr. Red guy there. Oh, and Mr. Green guy. And Mr. Yellow guy decides he doesn't want any. He doesn't want none of that. Come on, crazy yellow guy. Come on, crazy yellow guy. Um, let's, uh... Let's just go back up here and try to come to this center section right here. Oh, just in time. In some ways, the red guys are easier, even though they're very aggressive and they come directly for you. Because they do come directly at you, that means you can sort of lead them where you want them to be more easily. Whereas these other ones, the, the yellow and the green guys, they just sort of wander around on their patterns. So it can be harder to get them right where you need them to be. Right, we have red guy here, so we'll get right up to this platform to take him out. And I think the green guys are coming. He is. I know we'll probably miss out on that little extra bonus, bonus egg thing, but... It was much better to not do that. It was much better to uh, get up on the platform when we needed to. So we have two crazy yellows here. My own crazy yellow guy. One more crazy yellow over here. Which I suppose, um, understandably, are the least predictable of the robots. So how do we get to that, that green guy? I suppose we come up here and then we have to very carefully drop down here and do some of that. As you can see, this game does have the option for two players. I think it'd probably be a fairly fun two-player game. I guess the red guys aren't going to come over this way just yet. I thought, I thought maybe they would come up the ladder 
and come this away, but oh, now they are. So you have to be careful when they're in a group. Are you continue? No, I, I think that's a good, a good little look at Wani Wani World. Thank you for the game. Yes, we understand that. That's the game. So that is just a little look at this Japanese arcade sort of game. Wani Wani World for the Sega Genesis. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Remember to subscribe and like. There are wonderful things to do. And tune in again next time for more fun.